Our question was whether competition levels between dogs in a household affect the way they make decisions. To answer our question, we had the dogs participate in a relatively simple task. We set up two plates in front of the dogs, each with a little bit of kibble on them. One experimenter walked the first dog through, allowing him to eat food off of one of the plates. Then the second experimenter loosened the leash for the second dog, allowing him to make a choice. The second dog could either follow the first dog and end up at an empty plate, or go directly to the plate that still had food on it. There's a lot of studies out there about social learning in dogs, so the tendency of dogs to learn from each other, to watch each other, to learn from humans, to automatically imitate people, um, that kind of thing. But one thing that we noticed was really lacking was testing dogs with other dogs that they already know, something like that. But people really weren't looking in the household with pairs of dogs that lived together that knew each other and had these long-term relationships. First of all, we had dogs in the study that were classified as low rivalry and other dogs that were high rivalry. And the way we determined which dogs were high and low rivalry was based on answers that owners provided in an online questionnaire. On the whole, our findings show that how dogs interact with others plays a big role in how they respond under conditions that require quick thinking.